Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about something very important. And as you guys can see from the title, I'm going to be talking about how to take finasteride, also known as Propecia, without the side effects. Now, I know that this is really big because a lot of people know that this drug is very effective when it comes to halting male pattern baldness, yet they're afraid to take it because of all these side effects that they find online, um, and, you know, stuff that they read, and also even users of finasteride that have issues with, you know, erectile dysfunction, low libido, and even depression. And so hopefully I'm going to be able to explain some of the things that some of the current users um, might be experiencing as far as side effects and, eat, and you know, for people that are actually considering to take finasteride but were somewhat, you know, turned off because of the stuff that they read. Um, as most of you guys know, one of the best and the FDA approved medications for hair loss is finasteride, also known as uh, Propecia or Prosker. Um, pretty much finasteride works by blocking the uh, testosterone in our bodies from converting into DHT. And people that take finasteride claim that you know up to 86% of the people that are taking one milligram of finasteride are seeing um, really good results without any experience of further hair loss. Um, now I've been taking finasteride for about four months now. Uh, when I first got my my first FUE hair transplant in November of 2016. Um, but yeah, I haven't had any issues. And for the most part, most people are not going to have any uh, side effects from the drug. But there are a uh, a small minority of people that do end up having um, you know sexual side effects. And this whole thing just kind of. You know, it gets really big because people are really scared about side effects, and they should be. Um, and so, I've done, you know, I've do, I've been doing a lot of research on ways that you guys can reduce and, you know, possibly eliminate any of the the side effects that you read about, and also from the users who experience this. Um, but, you know, uh, a word of caution: make sure you guys consult with your doctor before you uh, follow the things that I'm about to explain in my video. Um, but yeah, with that being said, um, number one, a lot of the users of finasteride claim that lowering the dosage from 1 milligram to 0.2 milligrams has actually reduced or eliminated the side effects of finasteride. Now, this is pretty much common sense, you know, the higher the dosage, the stronger the medication is going to be. And so this was actually verified by a medical study from the National Center of Biotechnology Information, also known as uh, NCBI. They publish a lot of medical um, you know, documentations and scientific studies and it showed that taking finasteride at a dosage of 0.2 milligrams per day or higher was still, was still effective in treating male pattern baldness. Although it wasn't as effective as, the, you know, as taking one milligram um, of finasteride per day. Um, but you know, a lot of people are going to agree that you know, something is always going to be better than nothing. So. Um, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description box. You guys can take a look at the, the uh, study that was done. Um, but yeah, lowering the dosage obviously is one method that you guys can do to uh, reduce your side effects and possibly um, eliminate it. Uh, now number two, uh, for those individuals who are actually looking for a safer way to take finasteride, there is a topical form that you can put on your, on your scalp. Um, many say that you know it, it halts the progression of male pattern baldness effectively, just as um, you know the one that you take orally, with little chance of any unwanted side effects due to the minimal minimal absorption into the rest of the body. Now, the only bad thing about the topical finasteride is that it's not really available in the U.S. However, if you're living in Canada, you can obtain a prescription from one of the hair transplant doctors, um, Hassan and Wong. Or if, in, or if you're in Europe, you can actually purchase these online. Um, I've, I've never used it. I'm in the US, so I don't have access to topical finasteride. But I've, I've done some research on people that actually have used it, and they claim that it's still effective um, without the, uh, the unwanted side effects. Now, number three, this is probably very important. Um, so finasteride works by blocking the testosterone from converting into DHT. Now, if, if we eliminate DHT in our bodies, it's going to give the body a chance to, um, to give estrogen uh, to dominate, which causes um, hormonal imbalances depending on how low or high your 
estrogen levels are. And this can actually cause unwanted side effects such as the ones that you might be seeing from taking finasteride, uh, which range from you know sexual dysfunction, um, problems with your uh, libido, depression, etc. So it's not necessarily going to be finasteride, but what the body's doing because of the drug that prevents the um, the, uh, the conversion of testosterone and increases the levels of estrogen. Um, but there are certain things that you guys can do to make sure that estrogen will not go up in your bodies. So how can we do this? Well, zinc actually has been known to prevent conversion of estrogen um, or the conversion of testosterone into est estrogen. We also have calcium D uh, glucurate, which also removes excess est estrogen from the body. Um, and then we also have indole 3 carbonyl, which is another strong excess estrogen eliminator that is found in vegetables such as broccoli. So if you guys are currently taking or want to take finasteride to treat baldness and would like to find ways to reduce and eliminate the side effects, um, the things that I've mentioned in this video um, are probably going to be your best bet in eliminating the, uh, the side effects. Um, you know, obviously this is more for people who want to continue or, you know, they're interested in taking finasteride, but give it a try. Um, leave me some comments and if you notice anything different as far as the reduction in side effects or even if, if they're completely gone, let me know so that other people are aware, um, are aware of it. But thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe, uh, like my videos, and stay tuned for more videos on hair loss and hair transplant topics. Take care.